Hey guys, it's June the 4th. It's early in the morning and the morning is already starting with rain. Today is our spa and saw. Spa and saw, as it likely implies, is baths for the horses and then work in the pasture for those who don't want to be involved in bathing horses. And today we've got about a half an inch of rain coming on top of uh, six and a half plus inches over the last uh, seven days, eight days now, I think, or so, eight or nine days. Anyway, gonna be a wet day. Follow for more. Mike, you're happy to be here. Yay, good morning, volunteers. You're starting to show up. We're getting ready to have a great day, even though it's raining on them right now. <laughs> morning, guys. Hello. Well, our morning feed volunteers are here. We're getting ready to get the horses taken care of, get them into their stalls so that they can um, get ready for our spa and saw day. Again, this is just our feeding team. <laughs> well, <laughs> Mother Nature has her ideas of us not supposed to be getting very much rain for today. I guess the only good thing is it's happening at 9.30 instead of 10.30. It said a brief rain shower will begin. So I'm gonna look at this as a pre-bath for our horses. They're getting a pre-bath before we start their actual bathing process. Oh man, what a mess. Well, we're bringing the horses in despite the fact that our weather meteorologists did a really bad job of telling us what was going to happen today regarding the rain. It's just raining and raining and raining, but look at those amazing volunteers. <clears throat> I'm going to yell over your ears. Yep. If anybody doesn't want to hear this, please mute your phone or turn the sound off. today they may decide that they don't mind staying in during spawn saw. Served by Zen, we've decided that what they've experienced is like at a car wash. They got their pre-rinse, pre-rinse before their bath. So we'll bathe them and then put them back in the stalls and let them dry. This is normally the day we get photographs of all the horses. Emmy says, I don't like getting wet. <laughs> Come on, Nico. Some people like our little Nico boy. He's out there running with the big, hor big horses. Yeah, good boy, Nico. Good boy. Everybody's in, eating breakfast. We have a couple of empty stalls here, but they'll be filled here in the next week or so, maybe less. There's our 41 year old Apollo. Hey buddy. Hey buddy, he's struggling with diarrhea again, but he is eating, so that's a good thing. Eating but pooping more than I wish he would. More than I wish he would. Well, despite the rain, we're here and we're getting ready to go. We have wash stations ready, grooming stations ready. We're gonna start go getting horses right now. So baths are going on. We have one little resistant guy here. Step up, buddy. I'll be behind you, Mash. Boy. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> he says, I've already had my bath and I think I'm done. Good boy. Good boy. Good. All right. Okay. One done there. We'll be putting her back in her stall. You see her trembling. She's been wet. Now she's extra wet. We'll go into the stall. All right. One over there. And the others are all wondering why they are stuck in here. Why they can't go out? There's our big old boy Fabio getting his bath. <laughs> okay, Donnie, you see him moving away from your hand? He says that's too much pressure with those scrubbers. Good job. Good job. Hey, 
Got some groomers waiting. We've got a horse out there to go. I'm on poop duty. We even washed all of our rainbow halters and rainbow lead ropes so we can take them out into that beautiful green grass and get updated photos. That ended up being a pipe dream. It has been raining here now non-stop for about two hours, maybe a little more. Oh dear, but great enthusiasm, good cooperation, very appreciative of everybody's efforts. Well, I have evidence that the gray horses are clean. Now, how long before the gray horses are not clean? <laughs> no, this is not a wasted effort. Gives an opportunity for him to get clean down to the skin, right? Okay, bud, you've got alfalfa in there. Go on in and dry. Make sure he sees the alfalfa, Haley. He will not expect it to be in there because that's not a part of his normal, normal morning breakfast. There you go. Good boy. Now you can settle in there and dry. So here's our littlest guy, Nico. Now, do you guys wet them down for a reason when they're already wet? I don't know. I just... Is, has he been soaked? No. Soak first. No. Let the soap start breaking up the dirt. That's your rinse one. Put it behind uh, Sid. Put it behind Sid so nobody trips over it. Good job. So immediately go to foaming and then it can be soaking while you scrub. You might shorten his lead rope. There you go. You can just pull down. You should be able to just pull down. There you go. Good job. So our wee one, our printy painted one, and here comes our 41 year old. Ash, we want to, we'll want to pull off his fly boots. Okay. okay she's going to get his meds now. So we don't I already did. They're done. Yeah, already got him. But he will need some assistance on his back end since he's got diarrhea again. Okay. Good boy. And if you rinse off his fly boots, then we can um, put them right back on after they're clean on the inside and outside. Good. All right. Good job. Okay. All right. Here's our Miss Ava. I would love to say after this bath, she'll be clean for her visit to the hospital this week. She said that was a little too much pressure, Derek. This is what she stepped away for, okay? She says, lighten your pressure. Good job. Look at that, there's a horse guy for you right there, grooming that mane and tail. Not really. <laughs> Maybe we'll make a horse guy out of you yet, right, Greg? Maybe so. <laughs> so we all just had lunch. Sorry, I didn't take a break. We've actually been able to capture updated photos on our horses because it finally did stop raining and we're getting a little bit of break in the clouds so that's quite a blessing well guess what the sun is finally peeking through the clouds it is after through almost three almost three o'clock excuse me i'm slopping through the mud last night uh this was dry and i was grooming this and today it's nothing but a mucky mess Anyway, we're winding down. The volunteers are very gracious and they are actually giving my horses baths so we can also treat them with Equispot. That guy's not mine. He's the last of the boarded horses. But this guy up here, been with me for 26 years. He's 27, his name is Jester. He and I have had a long journey together. And over here, a little bit further away. That over there is Elohim. His name means God of Gods. And back there in the back, that black and white paint, that's one of mine, Dioji. And the beautiful Rocky Mountain you can't see very well. Right over there, that's Godiva. So if you ever wanna know how somebody ends up with 12 horses, just ask but it was not necessarily by choice. It kind of ended up being, I don't know, by design. So really thrilled that they're getting baths and can be treated. Before too long, we're gonna be wrapping up the afternoon with some snacks and a little gift that comes from a friend in Ithaca, New York. They wanted everyone to know how much they, we appreciate their efforts. And it's gonna happen just as the sun comes out. Perfect timing. Great. Well, the day is done and everybody's headed out. 
going back to their home. And we certainly appreciate all the help from all of the volunteers that spent their day with us today. Spa and Saw is a wrap.